not about me. It's all about you. Yeah. Yeah. Hide me under the cross, God. You yeah. be glorified. Yeah. Double himself glorified. Yeah. Yeah. Be glorified in Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. For I am persuaded. Preach the word. I just the Apostle Paul. He he made a declaration in this text of his faith. He was absolutely, positively, positively persuaded in the faithfulness of God to keep him, to keep him. If you read the text, he's persuaded that God is faithful to keep him. One definition of persuasion is to be convinced. Many of us in this life have try to persuade people to believe what we believe and try to persuade people of different things in life. The definition is uh, to be convinced. The Bible says in Acts the 26th chapter verse 28 that Agrippa said to Paul, you almost persuaded me. Persuaded me to do what? To be a Christian almost is not good enough. Amen. That's what Agrippa told Paul. You almost had me that I was right on the threshold of being saved. You, you almost persuaded me to be saved. Amen. You, you almost got me. Unfortunately, my brothers and sisters, almost is not good enough. Amen. We must be fully convinced and sold out to the things of God. Do I have anybody in here that has made up in your mind uh, uh, for God I live and for God I die? I asked you a question. I need some kind of response. I said, is there anybody here that has made up their mind for God? And for God, I die. You know, it's, come, uh, it's too late to try to convince me of any other way, any other thing, any other persuasion, any other doctrine. I'm sold out to what I believe from Genesis to Revelation. That's right. Amen. I am persuaded. Watch this. The Apostle Paul wants us to understand through the text that difficulties and disappointments and afflictions and sufferings and trials and tragedies are not inconsistent with the sonship in God's family. In other words, you're going to have trouble. And I've told you all before, it's not because you've done something bad, but a lot of times you're going through hell and high water because of the good you're doing. Mm. The devil don't like you saved. The devil don't want you to be good. The devil don't want you to walk with Christ. The devil don't want you to be on fire for God. The enemy don't want you praising God. He don't want you worshiping God. He does not want you witnessing the word of God. He does not want you persuading others that God is real. He died on the cross. Jesus died on the cross for our sin. Amen. So he's going to turn up the heat. So don't feel like, hey, I got saved. I got over here and got deep in Christ. And all of a sudden, I'm going through hell and high water. It's because you're doing the right thing. I wish I had about five church folk in here that can say amen. Amen. Text to text to text lets us know that when we are faced with such matters and, and such evil, such things going on, it matters not how severe it is. Nothing can separate us from the awesome depths of God's love. Is there anybody in here besides me that thanks God he loved you in spite of? Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all sanctimonious and looking good today, amen. But some of us came from some deep holes in sin. Come on, somebody. And, and you even gave up on yourself and said, I, I, I'm just the way I am. It's the way it's going to be, and that's how I'm going to be all my life. And the Lord came and He heard your conversation with yourself, and He came and rescued you up out of that horrible pit and established your going. So I'm going to ask you again is there anybody in here that's glad for the awesome depths of God's love in your life? That in spite of when everybody else broke you off and even family members said you ain't about nothing and, and you thought your name was a bad word because your parents called you trust words all day long. But the devil is a liar. God said, I'll take him, I'll take him. And I know how to wash him in my blood and clean him up. Is there anybody glad that God came where you are and saved you from a wretch undone? Anybody, anybody glad today? Anybody glad today? I'm going to ask you one more time. Anybody glad today? Because he could have left you out there to die in your sin. He could have let the devil get the best of you. In fact, the devil thought he had the best of some of us. But I need about four witnesses to say the devil is a liar. Look at me now since I've been just in the blood of Jesus. I feel some help on the way. I feel some help. Amen. 
And so, my brothers and sisters, no enemy, no enemy can separate us. And, and nothing can separate us. No enemy can defeat us. No, no death can sting us. And, and no sin can overpower us. Thank you. Because of the blood of Jesus. Mm, verse 27 says like this, we are more than conquered yeah. through him uh, that loves us. And, and if God be for us, no power and no principality, no authority, and no person, and no devil can even defeat us. Y'all relax who you are. You are some bad somebody's up in here. I just need somebody to help. in life and, to, and too powerful in society and all that kind of stuff. But amen, in the kingdom of God, when the devil sees us coming, he ought to tell all his demons, time for us to go, time for us to go. Here come this powerful individual. They don't fire for God. We tried everything we could to get them to turn around and get them discouraged. But they got so much authority and so much power, they going to put us under their feet. So let's put ourselves on the run before they come in here. Let's get busy. Let's get up out of here. You ought to, you ought to, you ought to be so powerful that the enemy runs when he sees you come. Sees you come. Amen. Thank you, God. When he sees you coming, he ought to cut out. Glory. Paul said in 2 Corinthians, the second chapter, verse 11, Paul said, Don't be ignorant That's right. of Satan's devices. Yes, mm, when you, when you, some of y'all like to watch boxing and and football and, and basketball. Well, guess what? Uh, the teams that are, uh, are competing with each other, they study their opponents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boxers study their opponents. Yeah. Their opponents. That, uh, uh, you can best believe Joe Frazier knew the style of Muhammad Ali's boxing before he even got in the ring. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Amen. And, and they said, Iron Tyson, Mike Tyson, Iron Mike Tyson, well, he got a punch on him. You can best believe they studied Mike's uh, what, what he's going to do in round one and what he's going to do in round two. You, as a believer, got to be so sure that you're not ignorant to Satan's devices. Yeah. Watch this. He, 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 he try to fool you and make you believe it's God. Yeah. Yeah. The Lord told me that and then get you all up in some mess. Yeah. Amen. Don't be ignorant to his devices. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Somebody. Yeah. You, you got to watch. You gotta watch, and you gotta have enough power down on the inside of you to discern: is this God or is this the devil trying to be the imposter again? Yeah, that's right. Come on, talk to me, somebody. That's we know. A lot of people get off track because they are ignorant to Satan's devices. Right. Right. Watch this. Watch this. He's he's easing his stuff through TV. He's easing his stuff in through radio. He's easing his stuff in through games and yeah. cartoons. Y'all ain't hearing me up in here. He's easing his stuff in education. He's easing his stuff in in books. Y'all ain't hearing me. There's agendas in every television show you watch today. The same kind of device. Amen. I just make it simple, but he's easing it in. And sometimes we get another. Yeah. Oh, that was a good movie. Oh, that was a good show. Oh, that was a good station. Radio station. He said, put it all in the music. Yeah. Come on, somebody. You can't be ignorant of his devices. Yeah. Church today should have a made up mind. Come what may. I'm fully, absolutely, and positively persuaded that nothing, not, not, not one device from the devil is going to separate me from the love of God. Somebody holler up in here, I'm persuaded, I'm persuaded. I'm, I said holler up in here, I'm persuaded. Let me hear your metal drive, I'm persuaded. I ain't turning back. I'm going all the way. If you fail in your spiritual life, it would uh, not be because God uh, lacked in his love and his grace. Yeah. If you fail, it's on you. It ain't on God. Right. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. It's, on, it's on you. If I fail today, I can't blame God. God has given us everything we need to make this journey. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, can I preach in here? Yeah. So, 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 so Paul listened 
and he emphasizes certain adversities in this text. He says, he says, neither death, uh -huh. nor life, uh -huh. That's right. nor angels, yes. nor principalities, yes. nor powers, yeah. nor things present. Yeah. Yeah. Look at somebody and ask them, what you going through right now? It can't separate you from the Lord. Amen. Amen. You got to be persuaded. Not things present. Yes, sir. Nor things to come. Yes, nor height, I don't care how high and tall and strong it might be. No height. Yes. Nor that, I don't care how deep the enemy tries to yes. persuade you any other way. No height, nor death. Nor any other creature. The devil. in the grace of God. Amen. Don't let grace run out. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, shall we continue on and sin that grace man found God forbid? Don't you run around here uh, thinking because God given us grace and he loved us and can't let us separate from his love that I can just be big enough, bad enough, rough enough and tough enough to do what I want to do in sin. Amen. But he still loves me and he does. But don't get lost in your sin. Amen. That's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to say it again. You cannot out sin the grace of God. But when you die, grace is over. When he comes to pick us up in the rapture, grace is over. Yeah. Amen. So you got to make sure that your life is not in sin. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so my brothers and sisters, I want you to understand, amen, nothing can separate us from the Lord. You got to be persuaded that God can keep me. Amen. Yes. Can I get an amen on the front row? Yeah. He, he chose us from eternity. He chose us uh, before time even began. He chose, he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, before he even laid the foundation of the world, before he put a star in the sky, before he created a fish or a bird or an elephant or a lion or a bear. He chose you in him. Yeah. Look at somebody say, I've been chosen, I've been chosen. And it ain't been by no fine somebody, it's been by the best, baddest man ever. Jesus. Jesus. He chose, he chose him, chosen by the baddest man ever. My brothers and sisters, before, before time he began, he paid such an awesome price and sealed his love for us with his own blood in spite of where we were. That's right. Because watch this. You might be super sanctimonious now, but we was all in sin. Yes. Amen. And neither the Savior. Amen. Yes. Huh? Amen. We was all in sin. You might have been a good sinner, I might have been a bad one, but we was all in sin. Amen. And the Bible came by all in righteousness and sin. Amen. And the Bible came by and he said, all in sin and come to the glory of God. Amen. Don't be coming over here and trying to point fingers at somebody else. And the Bible's done already declared that all have sinned. And all have fallen short. And let me let you in on this for free. You are part of the ALL. Y'all didn't give me. Y'all didn't give me. But God, who was rich in mercy, his blood came and, 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 and saw us where we were and pulled us right out of it. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm so glad that Jesus' blood uh, did it, not man's blood. Yes, it was man's blood, man. Man would take his stuff back as soon as we messed up, as soon as we didn't do what they said to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. But Jesus' grace and Jesus' mercy is still abundant in our lives. Amen. Amen, somebody. Man, man would, would, would tell us, I remember when. 
Yeah. And some of you got the nerve to say that now. Nah, I remember when he was this and she was that. Yeah. And they used to party with me and get loaded with me. Thank you, thank you for telling my testimony of how God can clean a person up. Don't get mad at them next time when they start running these big mouth. Say, thank you very much. I could have told my own testimony. If somebody wrote a song, you can't tell it. Let me tell it what God has done for me. But thank you if you want to run your mouth for what I used to be. Let folks see the real grace of God on my life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for telling my testimony. Thank you for letting folks know I was once lost, but now I'm fine. Thank you for letting folks know he went down into a horrible pit, picked me up, and established my going. Thank you. Why is it here 
say head, in other words, he rose. Yeah. Amen. Is at the right hand of God, who also make an intercession for us. Yeah. Yeah. When you can't get a prayer through, just guess how, guess how, guess how you made it through. Christ was making intercession for you. When you cried all night long in the midnight hour and thought you couldn't make it, and you got up in the morning and you said, Weeping may endure for a night, but joy coming in the morning because Christ is making intercession for you. Is there anybody in here that's glad that Christ takes care of you? Nothing shall separate you. Christ loves us so much that he even. Uh, he even prays for us. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. He makes intercession for us. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. I'm persuaded, brothers and sisters, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. that the toughest temptations and the most powerful persecutions mm. can't break us, mm -hmm. can't make us, mm -hmm. and can't shake us down. That's All right. Right. Can't shake me off this solid foundation of love. All right, now. That's built by Jesus Christ. I heard an old song in the old church. They don't sing them no more. Said I was sinking. Deep in sin. Far from a peaceful soul. Very deeply. Staying within. Sinking to rise. No more. Mm. But the master. Of the sea yeah, 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 yeah. heard my despairing cry yeah, awesome. from the water. I wish I had a church in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He lifted me yeah. right now. Safe am I, yeah. and I didn't have to slide in the third base, I didn't have to slide in the home run. It was love. I wish I had a church here that lifted me. When nothing else could help, love lifted me. Get somebody eyeball to eyeball and say, I don't care how many times you tried to save yourself. It was the love of Jesus that brought you through. It was the love of Jesus that caused you to make it. It was the love of Jesus that caused you to be more than a conqueror. It was the love of Jesus that persuaded you that everything is going to be all right. Do I have a witness in here? Open your mouth and shout, I am persuaded that I'm going all the way because if he loved me like that, I got to love him back like that. And greater love had no man than this. That man would lay down his life for his friends. Is there anybody that's glad when everybody else walked out on you? Jesus and his love was right there to pick you up, to fix you up, to wash you clean.
be about 20 believers and jump up and try to persuade it. I'm persuaded. I can't quit now. I can't turn around now. I've come too far. Jesus is about to come get me. Open your mouth.
prophesying over folks' life that you don't even have the authority to prophesy over. Amen. All right, Mama. Good. Jesus. They do this. They, 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 they in for a minute and out the next. So why? It's God that has to pull them in. Yeah, yeah. It's your job and my job to tell people that the love of Christ is so awesome and so deep that it cannot separate us. Nothing. Right, nothing. That's what the text says. Nothing. 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 Hallelujah. Nothing. 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 Do I have anybody that's glad? Thank you. This little sound you where you were. Yeah. That was the old song you sing in my home for love found the way. Love found a way to redeem my soul. Yeah. Love found a way to make me whole. Yeah. Love sent my Lord to the cross of sin and shame. Uh -huh. Love found a way, oh praise his name. Love found a way. Yeah. Take your mind back and rejoice over love finding you. Yeah. You didn't find him, he found you. All you had to do was say yes. Yeah. He found you. He's never been lost. Love found a way to redeem you, to save you, to set you free. It was the love of Christ Jesus. Jesus did it. Jesus did it. Jesus did it. I heard somebody say, if I was the only sinner on this earth, he would have still went to the cross. After all, watch this, and I'm through. We got ourselves in trouble. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. He didn't create us for sin to be in sin. That's right. He created us to be sin free, sick free, live forever, never to grow old. That's right. But now we gotta go through all this hell because we messed up. That's right. Okay. Thank you, Adam. Uh -huh. Getting us all in a mess. Oh, God. By one man's sin, uh -huh. condemnation came upon all of us. That's right. Curse. By another man, Jesus. Yeah. Salvation came. Yeah. Yes, thank you, Lord. Adam got us in it, but Jesus got us out of you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you. I love you.
wherever you are, wherever you are, whatever you are, wherever you've been, wherever you are now, let him minister to you. Let him touch you. Let Jesus deliver you. Let Jesus wash you. Let Jesus cleanse you. Are y'all praying? Are y'all praying? Let him do it. He wants to do it. He's sleep. This is his pleasure to give you the keys to the kingdom. He wants you to have spiritual authority. It's good pleasure. Who wouldn't serve a God like this? Where are you? Come on. That's why. That's why. Just get up before you are. I don't know what this lady needs from God. Amen. But she was bold enough to come. Amen. Hallelujah. Who else is coming? Who else is coming? Who else is coming? Do me a favor, I know we have a mask on, but just look at somebody and ask them next to you. You know the Lord in the parking of your seat. Do you know it? Do you know it? Here comes a young lady. Come on, darling. Do you know it? Do you know it? Sorry. She too young. No, she's not. Now just got killed in a car accident, bus, school bus. The devil's trying to take children out. Teach them, train them early. That Jesus is the answer. In my heart. Good. Come on. Let the Lord minister to you. I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled. Anybody else? I love the
he's coming back. It's amazing. Don't y'all know that sinners can be delivered? Those that are not in the struggle with problems can be delivered if you just learn how to work. 